You guys cannot imagine how excited I am to see that show in March. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at the music center. I'm going to see John Adams conduct tonight. John Adams conducting John Adams, which is like one of my favorite things ever. But there's a little detour here. I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a detour. We're having a mini adventure, like a 15 minute mini adventure along the way. You know what we've never, I've probably said this before, but you guys gotta hold me to this. Darcy, Alex, somebody. Downtown LA, somewhere is the fountain from that scene in the Marathon Man, that really cool looking fountain. And you gotta see it at night, and I've never seen it. For all I know, it's like right here. I'm gonna pause and Google it. I'm gonna come back, and then I'll tell you about where we're going. It's very exciting. Back in a minute. Okay, so as it turns out, the fountain from the Marathon Man is like a block away from where we're going. And if I can make it work on time, I will. Let's check out the step. I love those damn steps. Look at that. I showed you guys all this stuff before. Um, okay. You know how at Lincoln Center, everything around Lincoln Center sucks, more or less? This, this music center is LA's version of Lincoln Center. And more or less everything around it sucks. But I found, this is new to me, in an office building over here, there's a pizzeria that's supposedly open till 8.30 at night, which for LA is like being open till two in the morning. And it looks pretty good. We might get catfished, I don't know. Let's go find out. Okay, so if you guys wanna get rich in real estate, I guess you just call this number and they're gonna show you um, how to make all the money in real estate. That's the Walt Disney Concert Hall at night. I think we've been here together before on the vlog. We must have. I'm gonna go pick up my ticket real quick. Oh, there's no line and then we got two more blocks that way. Okay, there's the Broad. I know we've been there together. This video might have been real shaky before. I'm not sure. I'm still learning this new phone. And uh, I haven't been out of the house that much, to be honest with you, but you guys knew that already. I spent most of January in the house, unfortunately. This is all, you know what this is, you guys? I probably told you this before too. This is all where Night of the Comet was filmed. Because we're, we're above ground right now. I don't know if you know that. You see how this goes down? So this is all, I don't know the word, but I'm gonna call it stilts. We're like, the whole street is on stilts. And when this was all new, man, that is blurry. Hang on. How do I change the lens? Can't change the lens. Well, anyway, this is where, these are the locations from Night of the Comet. All right, let me look for this pizza. I almost feel bad not shooting this in 4K. Um, look at this. Halo. And let me show you across the street. I think that's the one with the Earl of Sandwiches in there and that weird um, amphitheater thing that I have daydreams about sometimes. I'm pretty sure. You can hear all the helicopters. It's very surreal. And you can see that I'm the only person around. Which is kind of the story of my life, but the pizza looks open. Um, I think a lot of the reason that I do these vlogs is just to I don't know, just like, you see how empty this is? And how much of it there is? And, and how much does this happen to me? Like, all the time, or sometimes if Jeff's with me, he sees it too, but 
spent so much of my life like this, which must not be normal because these places can't exist if it's just us, you know what I mean? So I think I'm just kind of documenting whatever it is. I mean, look at this. Pizza's open, it smells good. It's just in some office building lobby. There's one dude eating pizza. Let's go check it out. Two slices of pepperoni for here, please. Got it. Thanks. Oh, they've got the pans. Shit. I just want two slices, whatever. Okay. Okay, okay. Thanks. All right, thanks. Good, how are you? Yeah, of course we got catfished again. I don't know what the fuck this is. But it's not New York pizza. It smells okay. Let's see how it goes. God, that pizza sucked. And I ordered two slices and the guy gave me three, claiming that they were too small, which they weren't. It was just the end of the night and I think they were gonna throw them out. I still want to eat up there at that revolving restaurant. Jeff told me that there was like a sitcom in the 80s that I have no memory of um, that took place in that restaurant. And I don't know how we get to where we're going. The map on the phone might shut us off, but... Oh, I feel sick. This is, like, this is always creeps me out, this place. All right. It's creepy. Let me use the map and figure out where this is at, and I'll be back in a minute. So there's the... Um, the U.S. Bank Tower, whatever it's called now, where they did the glass slide. I don't know how many of you guys remember the glass slide from the late Facebook days. But it looks like we should be able to cut through here. Yeah, there's stairs. Look at this. I should probably go wider, but whatever. This is kind of vacancy, huh? Look at this. Can I go wide? No. I guess still. Yeah, I guess still. I basically have this whole fucking place to myself. If you want to know why I'm crazy, it's like, <laughs> this is how I've been living most of my life, like this. Anyway, that's the public library. It's really good. It's a really, really good public library. Those escalators ready? Let's see. No, they're off. Okay. <coughs> Look at that. Oh, 
look at that building. I wonder what that... Oh, is that the... Um, that's the hotel from um, the Biltmore. Which we remember from films such as Beverly Hills Cop and uh, Bachelor Party. Push the button, wait for rock. Who gets that reference? It's a good shot of the library. Not sure what the holdup is on the light, but hold on. I might just go for it. There's absolutely no big fucking coming. Alright. So that over there is Flower Street. And we're gonna make a left. It's behind the library somewhere. Um, it should just be right here on this corner. How could it be that I've never noticed it before? I love that reflection of that building. Look at that. That's just fucking great. Um, I don't know how much time we have to curtain. I think it's about a half hour. Okay, so I've definitely been here before. That's the side of the library. <coughs> I have pictures of the Bonaventure Hotel, which that is what that is. And I've got another picture of it at night. Uh, oh, maybe over there. Oh, shit. I mean, I've been here a million trillion times that's the thing man it's... oh yeah the stairs okay okay this is exciting that looks very familiar it says it's to the left, but I think it's over there. Let me see. Oh, no, because I just put it in a dress. That's 555. That has to be it. Yeah, that's That's totally it. Oh, this is exciting. Look at the library of it. It's pretty great. Okay. Oh, look at those lights. I'm not sure how well it's showing up, but holy shit, this is very, very, very exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Push the button, I'm waiting for the rock. I think it's like down there, isn't it? Am I wrong? I remember like watching Marathon Man for the first time and basically the, it was a good movie, but my, my big takeaway was simply like, I wanna find those stairs. Okay. That's not the same. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. Wow. Look at this. I wish I had the 360. I'm totally going to make a reel of this in a minute, but... How fucking cool is that? Holy fucking 
shit, that is awesome. Look at that shit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause and get you a wide. Check this out. Oh yeah. Look at the benches, the curved benches. God, this is so cool. God, this is fucking amazing. It would be more amazing if it weren't for the helicopters. Look how many helicopters. Oh, I gotta come back with the 360. Wow. Oh, man. That is just everything. I hoped it would be. I'm kind of looking over my shoulder a little bit because, well, I think I'm alone. Uh, there could be somebody. And look at that. Wow. So cool. Thankfully, nobody's bothering me. The fountain sound is so good. Look. All right, well, this is a huge win. Selfie. Um, so great. I'm gonna do a reel and do some other stuff and then we gotta get to the theater. All right, that was amazing. Now we're here at the symphony. We gotta find door number six. I think it's down here. I had this seat once before, uh, a few months ago. I gotta find, the bathroom's around the corner. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and find the seat. I'll try to show you guys inside for a minute before try it starts. There's no internet in there. The water here is like $10. Five. Oh, cheap. Kidding. All right. Let's go see. Oh, I forgot they had like the garden night tonight. It was too cold. And we saw the fountain. And wasn't the fountain fucking amazing? There's door six. All right. So this is um, John Adams about two years before the pandemic. It's an opera about the gold rush. Libretto is going to be up there. I can't see where they put the singers. I think I've been to an opera here once before. This is a concert style opera. Um, but I'm so excited. I brought my glasses. This is the first time I've ever brought my glasses to the symphony. Let's see how it goes. I just got out of the opera and I'm walking to the bus and it's like one, two, three, four. Four helicopters, random sirens, first star of the night if you want to wish on it. And they're all circling like right around the bus stop. 
so my options are <laughs> I could potentially get uh, stabbed or shot or abducted by whoever they're searching for or I could take the subway home but if I take the subway home it's a really long um, commute from the subway station to my house ah fuck And for all I know, whoever they're looking for ran into the subway station. So this is fun. I was on the wrong block. I was chasing the wrong bus, but it's coming right now. But Look at that. Crazy. There's a bus right there.